Bon Allen Sports. Is Cam Newton a good player? Yes, he is. Is Cam Newton a smart player? Well, he makes some dumb decisions sometimes in the moment, like while the play is developing and while it's happening. He can read defenses pretty good. I know that. He will study. I know that. Newton drops straight back. There's a crossing route. McCaffrey. His 2015 campaign was phenomenal. But what do you do about attitude? His attitude is garbage. But the number one thing that I hold against Cam Newton, that fumble that he would not jump on. He, he jumped away instead of jumping into the pile. Yep, I guess he made a decision. It wasn't worth to go in there and get it. I might sacrifice my firstborn child. I don't have a child, but if I did, I might sacrifice my child to jump on that fumble. Okay? It's the freaking Super Bowl. That's when you give everything up for that. I don't care who's going near it. I don't care who's going to hit you. That is the time to jump on that thing. That is when, if, the, if you don't do it then, when do you do it, right? But that attitude, guys, not jumping on a fumble, man. You cannot, ugh, that's disgusting. I watched, I watched Tom jump on a fumble against the Dolphins in a regular season game. He lost the ball, and then all you see is Tom. Tom can't move his body forward, so all you see is his arm reaching out for it, grabbing it, and then getting it while everybody was converging on it. That was just a regular season game. No big deal. Truth is, Tom could have just not even bothered with that fumble, and nobody would have cared, but he went for it. It's a very special person who thinks the way Tom does. But I do expect commitment. And that commitment needs to at least come to, you better jump on that fumble. There is no way that Cam would ever be able to achieve much on the Patriots with that attitude that he's got currently. We also have to remember that a lot of his attitude is some of the responsibility has to be held by the team of the Carolina Panthers. Why? They're with them every day. So nobody's checking Cam on this. Nobody's saying, hey, it's like a spoiled child. All right? If you've got a child who keeps being spoiled, who's out of control over and over. Eventually, you have to point the fingers at the parents, don't you? Say, how come nobody's ever stopped them? How come nobody's ever not given them what they, you know? Apparently, Carolina has been appeasing this dude. They have been giving him what he wants, giving him his way all these years. Because the very first time he had one of those little ridiculous uh, press conferences where he's whining like a baby, the Patriots, Belichick would have been like, what the hell was that? What was that? Don't ever do that again. Don't ever talk like that again. Don't ever single out one of your teammates. Don't ever talk about the coaching staff. You do that one more time and you're out of here. That clearly was not happening in Carolina. How do you fix mindset? But if you can get somebody to change their mindset, it's in New England, right? I love watching Cam play. Cam is exciting to watch. He's, he's you know, he's a good player, but... He can be a great player. He can be an elite player if he, if he's really wanting to be. But that attitude, man, he cannot... Think about this. How hard it is to play for Bill Belichick. Do you really see Cam Newton not buckling under the pressure of, of playing for Bill? And not only are you playing for Bill, but you're playing after Tom. Cam is a situation where it's all about price. Can Cam be... Uh, acquired for a little how much is it going to cost to even kick the tires on this guy what's he wanting what's he going to demand you see all these things matter if it's the right price if if there's if it's very low and very low risk and again price is everything why because injury the dude is always injured however i will say this certain types of injuries are products of playing style him being injured a lot in can uh, carolina they need to investigate to see if that is a product of a bad, a bad group of physicians, a bad group of people who are just not really great at their jobs. Uh, you need to see if maybe they don't know how to treat a, a quarterback position as well as they should. Maybe a play, uh, play differential, so a different type of play where he isn't always relied on doing everything himself. Maybe a protective offensive line and making him more of a pocket passer more often not completely, but more often, that would minimize it as well. Keep in mind, guys, Cam Newton was the driving force of that team for how long? 
He was like the only offense. The dude was doing everything on it by himself. That's why he got the MVP in 2015. Right now, no way you pay Cam Newton quarterback money right now. You just don't. You give him an incentive deal, a one-year prove-it incentive deal. That's what you do. But to be honest with you, I don't think we need him. I'd rather try a year with Stidham. If we can make Stidham a competent quarterback. Guys, we've got him for years on a ph phenomenal deal. The other day when I was looking up uh, Brady's contract and I showed it to you, how much was he making in 2001? It was what, like, was it like 300? 350, was it 300? Like okay, so in 2001, the year that Tom Brady won Super Bowl MVP, he was making $300,000. That's insane, okay? But right now, Stidham is more or less the equivalent of that in the year 2020. So we're talking, um, you see, I think, I think uh, Stidham is like 800,000, 850, 850,000 against the cap. If we can make him a competent guy, pretty good, you know, a good quarterback that can just get the job done. Hell, if he can even be what Jimmy G was for the 49ers this year. Guys, we've got a quarterback for years that's making nothing. That, that's a good situation to be in. Versus a Cam Newton who might give us exact same as Stidham, but he's going to cost what? 20 mil? That doesn't even make sense. And Stidham said in January that that tom opened up everything to him and tom was really working with him so much throughout the season i like that guys i don't know about y'all but a talented quarterback a talented guy talented enough for belichick to draft okay so talented enough for uh, for belichick to use a fourth round pick on a guy who played at auburn, auburn who was pretty good there and a year under under tom while Tom was helping him. And a year in the system. So a year with McDaniels. So he knows Josh's, he knows the verbiage, he knows the plays, he's got everything down. Now, with all that said, do you guys think there's anybody out there that can come in to New England and be worth that? So remember, a quarterback has to come in, he has to be as good as Stidham could be, or better. But he also has to outplay the, the cost that he's going to be, the cost over what Stidham cost. So it's not just if you're a little bit better than Stidham. You've got to be better than Stidham enough to, to justify the gap of the pay, right? So if you're getting paid $20 million, you that means you're basically getting paid 33.5 because we're taking a hit on top. You better be worth that. So that means you've got to be like MVP level almost. And who, who the hell out there is going to do that for us? I want to know. It's not like Cam Newton's walking in the door and we can get him for $10 million. Okay. Cam Newton walks into the door for $10 million. Okay, I'd take that. Just because he's Cam. Just for the fact that he's Cam Newton, I would pay him $10 million. That, that's That's like, okay, that's a good deal. But that's not happening. So, no. We go with Stidham. That's what we do. Barring any any unforeseen things like a team calling up and offering their franchise quarterback who's awesome. Okay, if the Falcons call up and say, hey, Belichick, we'll, we'll, we're willing to trade Matt Ryan. Okay, I'll take Matt Ryan. You see? Or Packers saying, hey, we'll, we're willing to move Aaron Rodgers or something like that. I'd listen to that. I'd be interested in that. But that's not happening, guys. It's not happening. We need to just try to Try to do well this year, and then next year, the cap, we're going to get some relief on the cap. Thank you so much for watching Von Elm Sports. Don't forget our live show every Saturday, only on YouTube. We hope you like and share the video, and to make sure you don't miss a thing, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified.